it up straight to a penthouse, Miami Beach. Yeah, yo. Talk crazy on tweets. Who? They don't want it cause I come to defeat. They don't want it. I peep. These niggas all sweet. Wee. Bamboo sticks all in the Jeep. Beep, beep. It's a new weirdo every week. Weirdo. Get the work, put it up for my seats. No care for the IG. This no do care. anything for club. Anything. Do anything for club. Happy Saturday, T-Squad. It's your girl, Keisha, a.k.a. Color Me Pink, and I'm here with a new Spill the Tea video. I drop videos Monday through Sunday. Everything that I say is for entertainment purposes only and not to be taken seriously or literally, meaning my jokes are Jones. So if that works for you, let's get into this video. So this morning, I woke up to TMZ reporting that Jonathan Majors and Megan Good are dating. Now, when I saw this, I was looking like, the devil is a lie. What is going on? Who, who's, who told TMZ this? Where did they get this information from? Because this just sounded so far-fetched to me. So, TMZ is reporting that Jonathan Major is still in the throes of a tricky legal situation, but he's been able to find some time for love. TMZ has learned the actor recently started dating Megan Good. Sources with direct knowledge tell us over the course of the last several weeks, Jonathan and Megan have gotten close and the relationship is fairly new. What's more, a witness tells us they were at the Alamo Draft House in LA last weekend to see a movie. So it's not like they're hiding the fact they're hanging out. It's unclear how serious the relationship is, but we've reached out to reps for Megan and Jonathan. So far, no word back. Of course, Majors continues to fight criminal charges in NYC, three counts of attempted assault, as well as assault, one count of aggravated harassment and a separate count of harassment. The actor is accused of backhanding <laughs> his ex-girlfriend in March in the back of a taxi after a night out partying in NYC. Major's attorney, Priya Chaudhry, has maintained her client's innocence from the beginning and has provided investigators with several surveillance videos and text messages from the alleged victim in an attempt to prove Major's innocence in one video the ex is drinking and partying in a nightclub hours after the alleged violent incident majors team claims the images show she was not injured majors had a court hearing earlier this week where his legal team hoped the da would drop some if not all of the charges but they all remain after the hearing Major's attorney called the entire case a racist witch hunt, adding when Mr. Major showed a white police officer the injuries the woman caused him, the white officer got in Mr. Major's face and taunted him, saying that if the officer were to backhand Mr. Major's, the officer wouldn't break his finger. Jonathan's attorney also annoyed neither the police or the DA's office is investigating Major's claim his ex actually assaulted him that night. Um, I've taken a look at those uh, surveillance videos of the alleged victim that night at the club. In the police report, it was stated that she had a mark around her neck and that her thumb was sprain broken or hurt in some type of way but in the video footage from her being at the club that night you see that she literally doesn't look like anything's wrong with her we also see footage of her going to his apartment getting on the elevator with no problems so once again if this person had done something so heinous to you, why would you go to his apartment? And they said she waited for him the entire night. So it's a lot to this, but you know, other women have come out claiming, you know, abuse, abuse from him. So th the whole thing is just a mess. Like his career was so promising. Like he was the new it guy in Hollywood and everything just went crashing down from this incident. So 
with all of this going on, I would find it hard to believe that he would even be worried about dating somebody. <laughs> like, I would think, I don't care what color you are, that women in general will be the last thing on this man's mind, considering everything that he is facing and up against his role as Kang in the MCU is hanging in the balance because of this. And I would be remiss to believe that Megan Good would really be dating somebody in a predicament such as this. Maybe they're just friends and been hanging out with each other. Maybe she's, you know, been friends with him and showing him support and encouragement. You know, she is a woman of faith, but I just find it hard to believe that Megan Good would be involved in some mess like this, you know what I'm saying? And especially this man just literally got out of relationship two months ago because of this incident. So, huh? This whole thing to me just seems absurd. I would be once again blown away if this in fact is true. Um, I think that if it's not, by the end of the day, we will hear something from Megan Good saying, y'all tripping. <laughs> like, this is not true whatsoever. I don't even think that she would want to be tied to any negative press like that. You know, like, she's an actress herself. Why would she willingly put herself in the line of fire? Like, that just is mind-boggling to me. I don't know how true this is. I firmly don't believe it. What y'all think? Do y'all think that this is real? Do y'all think they're dating? Now, before this happened, yeah, I could have saw them dating, most definitely. But after all of this has gone down and he has yet to be cleared of any charges, I just can't see Megan Good voluntarily, you know, putting her career and livelihood on the line, being associated with somebody with these types of allegations, you know, standing against them, you know. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this bit of tea down below in the comment section, you guys. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like and subscribe, and hit that notification bell button. I love you guys, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.